Okay guys, today we are in something extremely special. And uh, as you can see, this is not a Holden Commodore. This is a Ford. This is a car from Team Blue. But, but before you go at me, I am not just into Holdens. I love everything, really. I, I genuinely am a car enthusiast. And if you guys know these cars, um, these things are, are insane. Yeah, are uh, really really crazy. So this is an FG XR6 Turbo, and if you are overseas and you're not in Australia, these are the cars with the straight six turbo motors built here in Australia. The car is Australian. Everything here is Australian, and this one is a little bit special than the normal XR6 Turbo for two reasons. One, this one makes 411 kilowatts at the wheels, ridiculous amount of power, and, and frankly scary. And the second thing is this is an X Highway Patrol police car. So it's actually a pretty pretty rare car. Now, I want to show you guys what this car is capable of. First of all, this is not my car, so I don't want to hurt it. But I am not a good enough driver to handle one of these at its limit. And that, that is, is the truth. So we're not going to be going nuts because the last thing I want to do is hurt myself, hurt the car, or at absolute worst, hurt somebody else. So... But you know it doesn't matter because you can still enjoy this car without that, which I'll I'll show you without being without being stupid. So, what we're going to do is uh, start it, and later on in the video I'll give you a walk around. But on the outside, it does look pretty standard, and it actually I love that about it. It's stock height, it looks dead stock. It is quite loud, um, but wait till you hear the the noises this thing makes. So, but enough talking though. Let's uh, let's start it. So there you go. There's a little hint of police. Now, I have been driving this for a while, so we're not going to be doing this on a cold motor. Um, and I hope you guys are ready because this thing... <laughs> so, as you can see, the traction control cut in there. Um, the, the, again, silly power. This thing will light up the wheels at 100 k's an hour. No worries at all. <laughs> what I'm talking about when I said that you don't have to push this car to its limits to enjoy it. Every time I've been driving this thing, so there's we're on a pretty quiet road, so I keep <laughs> finding myself slowing down to 60 and then... <laughs> it's just... Just that noise is absolutely addicting. I can't stop doing it at it. <laughs> and this is what I mean, guys. You know, forget Ford versus Holden. It doesn't matter anymore. All of that is just marketing. These cars are phenomenal. They are so fun to drive. They are fast. The motors are really, really strong. You know, this car has everything that you would do to an XR6 turbo motor. So. You know, it's got oil pump gears, and I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's just all of the stuff that you would do to any XR6 Turbo. But again, I'm not a... <laughs> it's just so fun to drive this thing. <laughs> just the noises, I, I honestly... So obviously we're only in a 50 zone, but you can... <laughs> oh my god, I, I wish that I could find a, a better way to, uh, to show you guys this noise. It's just, it's purely, it, it makes you feel like a kid. Like, I, I, I can't stop smiling. <laughs> oh my god, it's so, so, so addicting. And I absolutely understand the appeal of this car and I I, I love it. I, I really, really love driving this thing. And are these cars perfect? No. One thing I'm not a big fan of is I'm not a fan of the, the seat. You kind of sit in a in a weird weird spot. Oh, hang on a second. <laughs> so you kind of sit a bit funny and and I'm not a big fan of the interior. I like the steering wheel and then the dash and all that's great, but not a big fan of, of the rest. But again, it's not like it's terrible. It's just, that's probably the only thing that I can kind of knock against it. Um, however, that is quickly forgiven. I, th I think the outside of the 
the sorry i think the exterior styling is fantastic I, I think it's a really really good looking car they've aged phenomenally well and they drive great and obviously <laughs> obviously this the fuel economy is terrible in this car mostly because of the big dumb piece of meat driving it but also because this one's pushing so much power um i actually used to have a, a made with a ba xr to uh, just a normal ute just an na ute and that thing it's a great car but god it used a lot of fuel and i think that that's even if this was an na one that you'd be experiencing the same thing with this but again does that really matter well when you you're not going to be driving a daily driving a car with this much power because you're just going to end up you're just going to end up hurting yourself or binning it or whatever but I, I don't understand why these cars were never sold overseas and it, it's really it's got to be one of the best things that this company has ever built these cars like they drive great they're reliable as anything and they fly they absolutely fly these cars and even even in stock form we don't have to be pushing 400 kilowatts of the wheels yes it is a little bit annoying that the traction control is cutting in but again that's stopping it from uh from the wheels spinning and i have been in this car with the owner driving it and it, it's it's mental but again the fact is i'm just not a good enough driver to push this car to its limits and know that i'm not going to be hurting somebody else as you can my my palms are already sweating i'm white knuckled holding the steering wheel like it's it's, it's a scary car it, it really is and one of the times that i've driven this when i picked it up actually it was driving home in the rain and that was absolutely terrifying <laughs> Oh my God, how can you not like this? How can people only stick to Holden and never like this car and never try it? Like I love Commodores, I love them. But like Fords, they have failings. No no car is, is perfect really, are they? So, but this is just such a fantastic piece of, of engineering and it's so cool. And again, this one being a, a ex-highway patrol car and I'll throw some photos up it's a special this one is actually a special piece of of australian history and it's awesome and you can probably tell you know the interior does need a bit of a a bit of a detail uh the outside though is in really good condition surprisingly there's, there's very well there's almost no marks no scratches nothing like this and it's in a fantastic color it's that sort of burnt orange and um unfortunately you couldn't keep the original number plates because it's you know ex-government but um the owner has put on these uh, other number plates that are really really similar to you know as close as you can get really replacing the ones with eyes but there is nothing really you know all the police gear has been pulled out of this um so there's nothing really to show you there and same on the outside there's really nothing um one thing that i got a lot of comments with the po uh, photos that i've been posting about this on instagram is that a lot of people saying that it wasn't a police car because it didn't have the typhoon wheels and the brembo brakes and now that was only in new south wales so this is we're in victoria this is an ex-highway patrol victorian car i believe it was in dandenong that's just off the top of my head um and it's actually as i did meant uh, i did read a comment actually saying that it was featured on the uh tv show highway patrol and um apparently mitch mitch mccran i think it is uh, was driving this car in one of the shows but i couldn't find that unfortunately so that could be totally wrong or i just haven't been able to find it but again really really cool car you know it's just oh it's just so fun it's just <laughs> such a cool piece of kit so soon i'll um i'll park up and i'll show you guys the outside but if you live in australia you've seen it a million times it's a stock um xr6 turbo uh from the outside but it's just yeah it's super super cool uh, before i go one more dose As you can see, here is the outside of the FG XR6 Turbo. Like I said before, it's a reasonably stock car. It doesn't really look like anything uh, special, but as you can see in the photos that I mentioned before, I do love this badge in here. But as you can see in the photos that I mentioned before, it uh, XR6 Turbo, and there is really not much hinting at the kilowatts that this thing has. I mean, big exhaust tip there and uh, as i said before the number plates it used to be i2 uh, sorry used to be one two one 
but yeah it's in really good nick and i really love the color and uh we'll jump in here this will be something that everybody i'm sure wants to see the old the old uh engine bay red top barra and there's our big dirty turbo and i don't know it's just ford or holden these things i don't know how anyone can can talk buggery about these cars because they just absolutely fly these things i hope you guys enjoyed this video especially if you're overseas i'd love to share these kind of cars with you because we only really got these in australia but i don't know why they are so much fun and they're, they're not that old i mean this one's 2012 i think it's just of a different era like there are not cars like this anymore and these are really sought after a lot of people love these cars and i am so so lucky to have been able to drive this thing it's just a machine and look it's not a review i will do a proper video about this car but the main draw to these cars is the running gear and that's what i wanted to share with with you guys so i really hope that uh, you enjoyed it and uh, i wish that i could have shown the smile on my face but obviously had a big camera there but i probably won't have as many falcons on the channel as i do holdens but but if ones like this come up i will definitely include them so if these are your kind of cars please subscribe follow along and thank you for watching